now it's time to continue finally towards Ajara on the Bakmaro Kulu Road. So we'll see what today has in store for us. Maybe we'll end up in Ajara. Maybe we'll camp somewhere up by the pass. Who knows? Let's see. What do you reckon about the road, Dale? Uh, it's fine, there's just one little muddy uh, wheel rut. After that it's fine. I've just kicked some dry earth into it and just packed it in a little bit, so it should be a lot easier on the way up this time. I'm like shaking trying to get up this. Ah, we'll I'm be really all good. nervous. <laughs> my heart is in my mouth, absolutely racing. My palms are like so sweaty. Oh my God, I feel so sick. <laughs> I had no idea this road was going to be this tricky. It's just like steep drop-offs on Dell's side where he's driving. And there's like still snow up here and stuff. So it's really narrow. Oh my God, I'm like bricking it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack, Dell. reached Chidila Pass. I think we're just going to call it a day here. Kim was pretty much bricking it on that road on the way up so before she has a heart attack I think we should just stop here. It's about five o'clock anyway so we'll get the dinner on. It's a bit windy but uh, some cracking views.
I knew it would be. That's why I chopped it up for you. Good morning. The views at this end are even better. It's a busy little pass this. We've already had a herd of cows and their shepherd and a Waz truck come by. A few people gave them a wee wave. So nice. Oh. Going to start heading down the road from the past just now and I have a feeling we're going to meet a lot of cows and cars on the way. Today seems to be the day that loads of families are moving back to their summer homes in the village that we passed through yesterday. We've already seen loads of heavily laden cars and drovers with their big herds of cows and so on. It's been really cool actually. So we're going to have a lot of oncoming traffic. More cows coming just now.
this one's all about. Oh, they've got some lovely headbands. That's definitely better. We made it to Badishi settlement and had all of five minutes of sun when we arrived. Popped an amber wine in the fridge, all excited to drink it. And now it's just thunder and lightning. So we're having a cosy wee night in, thanks to the heater. Popped open a bottle of red instead, that'll keep us nice and warm. And uh, just getting on with a bit of work. Pretty boring, really. Make sure you push it up slightly on the left-hand side so that it fits in. Then move the two left-hand arms in.